Good morning, guys. It's Jerry. How are y'all all doing today? Hope everything's good. Uh, it's a good day today. Um, today, let's see. I wanna. I was debating on whether I wanna talk to you guys about a couple things, but I I kind of settled on this one. Um, you know, it's let's see, thirty two days now when I first started making my first video my first ever short video and i haven't had a personal video before <laughs> before that you know before the 30 day before that 32 days i haven't had any um other video much less putting it on facebook or youtube you know i i'm just very camera shy <laughs> So, I mean, I, I still am, but I now have a reason why I need to be in front of the camera and why I need to publish these things and why I need to post this on Facebook. So, just in case you're wondering why, well, I realized that there's this, um, I forgot what it is, if it's a book or just a cliche or something, but it's called, uh, 10 versus 10,000. So, and what it is, is that the reason that you're doing some things may be because you're ashamed, scared, embarrassed um, of the 10 people, you know, of the few people, not necessarily just 10. This just, you know, like I said, a cliche, I think. It's um, probably because you were scared that they're not going to approve of you, those 10 people. But then if you realize it, whatever you do, really, whatever you do, whether you're good, you're bad, you're nice or naughty, those 10 people, if they're really your friends, if they're really um, supporting you, they'll support you regardless. And if they're not, they're really not going to support you regardless. So <laughs> either way, those 10 people that you're scared of, those few people that you're scared of, that's going to uh that you're that you're embarrassed to show what you're doing right now they may not even really support you but what's the flip side to that the flip side to that is whatever it is that you want to share you want to do that other people can experience you're not gonna do so let's let's say for instance um uh if you have an experience in life and you you know that uh, you know other people are experiencing the same thing and you want to give them a solution or you want to tell other people, especially the young people, not to do this because this is what had happened to me. This is an experience. And you don't want to show it to them. You don't want to tell it to other people because you're so scared of what the few people around you would say. You know, you're embarrassed about it. Then those other people outside of your few people would not learn that story. So I have this thing where I actually wrote it down somewhere where i i wrote it and i said it's a, an experience not as an experience or story not shared with others is a lesson taken away from them so what that means is the story that you may have that could that other people could learn from they may not learn from it if you don't share it so i guess the main thing is what what's what's really stopping you and that's that was the main um um propelling reason for me too why i started making my videos and and i know i have so much to say in my mind i have so many things in my mind and i at first i started making my little coats and it's all good the coats are good you know you can see it you can see it on my posts and you'll it's quick you can you can see what i um mean really but in order for me to actually explain where, where those come from you know i have to put it on video <laughs> you know we don't have tape recorders anymore so though i don't think those exist and voice memos just take as much space anyway so my might as well just do the video right and i get comfortable in front of the video too or i practice to get comfortable in front of the video too so I'm still working on that. But anyways, what I'm what I'm trying to say is that was the main reason for me to start 
you know, putting myself on these videos. Oh, am I scared if there are people who's going to be criticizing me? Of course there are. Regard, like I said, regardless of what I do, regardless of whether I'm good, bad, naughty or nice, people are going to criticize me. In fact, on my exercises, I'm, I sometimes feel self-conscious because, you know, it's not like I'm, you know, like sexy, like all this other, uh, not, not sexy is not a word. Sex, sexy is not what I mean. Um, that's relative. You can be sexy even if you're a little bit, you know, curvy. You know, it, it's sexy is a relative state. It's not, it's not really um, a good measure. But what I mean is um, I'm not really um, a skinny, super fit person, you know, <laughs> um, showing you the exercises. But I have this challenge to, you know, on the YouTube that, tells you to exercise with me or encourages you to exercise with me and what it is is it's a challenge that I got in my, got myself into I'm exercising every day at least you know for the first 72 days I want to exercise every day and and that's that's because I want to um, improve myself physically personally and professionally so it attacks those three aspects but in addition to those um, to those videos that I'm just putting out for exercise, in addition to the exercise content of it, I'm improving myself in front of the video. So that way, when I speak to you on something important like this one, like encouraging you to just do the video, you know, to share your story with others because others can learn from you. You know, that's the second point of it. Yes, I'm ex exercising and yes, I know I'm, I know I'm embarrassed sometimes. I know I'm really self-conscious. I know people are going to criticize, but you know what? I'm putting it away. I'm putting it away, putting it behind me really. And I'm not letting it affect me because I want to share my story. I want to share this with you guys. And, and like I said, from somebody who has not put in any, uh, video content of myself, you know, I don't, I rarely take, even before this, I rarely take um, uh, selfie. So the video is like a milestone, believe me. But then again, that, that's, that's the point that I'm trying to emphasize here is I found the reason why you need to share my, uh, I need to learn how to be in, in front of the video. I need to be at least comfortable, presentable in front of the video um, or in front of the camera so I can do my video. It's because I want to share my story. And and I hope that you you find that encouragement too. Because there's so many there's so many errors in life, there's so many experiences in life that not everyone can experience. And we want to learn from other people too, you know. So that way we can, you know, if, if somebody made an, a mistake, you know, experienced a mistake, an error in life, and it took him like three years or four years or five years to recover from it. I think it would be worthwhile to listen to that person how they recovered from it so that way we don't do it to ourselves so that way we don't waste three four five years of our time you know because we can we can only do so much and we can only experience so much and we want to experience the things that are gonna add benefit to us some experiences are worth in experiencing on your own i'm not saying you don't experience others i'm not ex saying um just learn from others and don't you know don't do the adventures of course you have to you have the experiences what i'm saying is we need to learn from others too and we can only do that if that person share their story so if you have and we're all unique we all have different circumstances so i'm pretty sure that we all have different experiences regardless of whether you say we're in the same statistics, you know, we're, we are, we have unique experiences. We are individual. So sharing this to others, sharing your lessons to others um, would be worthwhile to listen to. And that to me was just enough to propel me to do my videos. You know, if you look over my videos in the first 30 days, you would just be like, oh, what is she doing in front of a video? She does not know. How I mean, I don't even know how to do how to be in front of a video right now. In fact, I have not invested in any major, you know, video taking <laughs> apparatus or something, <laughs> a camera or something like that. I'm still using my phone camera. So, and it's all good for now because I'm still, I'm still, 
learning i'm still testing and i'm just sharing with you the experience that i have you know am i comfortable yet not yet i'm not comfortable yet but i'm doing it because i'm not gonna get comfortable unless i actually do it you know routinely or regularly for me to be comfortable with it right <laughs> so but i just wanted to share that with you guys because it's if if i had a hard time being in front of a video if i had a hard time doing a selfie photo i'm sure other people did too you know especially if we came from the same same culture same background and the only thing that i really 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 want to emphasize is that you are gonna feel like you're gonna get embarrassed you know you are gonna feel that you're embarrassed you're ashamed you're um you're gonna be self-conscious and all that and mainly you're feeling that way because of what your few people the 10 people around you that you know what what they would say about what you're doing and like i said regardless of whether you're good or bad naughty or nice the people around you will do what they what they will do if they're your real friends real supporters they will support you regardless if they are you know your fake friends that you for some reason you chose to surround you they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna embarrass you they're they're not gonna support you they're they might even give you bad criticisms you know so it doesn't matter what you do if you have real friends they're gonna support you if you don't have real friends they're not gonna support you so just don't worry about what those um, few people around you are gonna say because there are tens and thousands of people that can learn from your story and and each of our story is unique and each of our story we can learn from so just don't like I said experience our story not shared with others our lessons not our lessons taken away from them so let's not be the one to take the lesson away from them let's what let's make sure that we put it out there you know like like how good teachers are you put out the lesson out there you give it to them whether they listen to it or not it's on them but in your own you know personal um responsibility to this to, to you know to society you gave them the experience that you had and you wanted to share them so that you can teach them a lesson so at least in that part you did your own you know you're, you did your own part in that way so it's uh i think it's a good thing really uh <laughs> i'm pretty sure you can see you know you'll have other videos on how to be comfortable in front of uh, a camera I don't have um I work 10 hour shifts a day and I have you know I I take my girls to school in the morning and I don't get out till about 8 30 at night so I really don't have a lot of um uh places where I can shoot my videos so I shoot my videos a lot in front of either in front of my desk or in my car so you're probably gonna see me here so like one thing I'm pretty sure that I'm gonna get some criticisms on why I'm shooting my my videos in the car. Well, you know what? I have to do what I have to do, and because I want to share my story, I want to share my experience to people. I'm doing it this way. You know, other people may may have time to actually, or may have time and space to actually do their videos. You know, have that nice background. Oh, I would love to have a nice background too, but right now I can't. Right now I don't but i won't let that stop me from sharing my story so i hope you guys learned something from this and you know like if 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 you want to uh, if you like to hear more from me or from my experiences and what my thoughts are um just you know subscribe to my channel jerry podqua and my um if you want to learn more about lab testing and have you know encouraging thoughts uh, i mean encouraging quotes and other stuff like that go to my um visit my website at www.jerrypodqua.com g-e-r-i-p-o-d-k-o-w-a all right guys i hope um i hope you learned something from this just remember a story experience a story or experience not shared 
it's a lesson taken away from them you know so don't worry about the few people around you because you have tens and thousands of people you know who could learn from your story so again um, that's all that I have for today and I hope that you learned something from this and let me know in the in the comment section if you know how you feel about cameras you know how you feel about being in the video and and what what do you think is gonna help you get there um, if you want to do like a one-on-one -on -one or something you know just send me a message and we'll see how we can fit that in our schedule and we'll we'll do like a one-on-one -on -one video chat just to get ourselves comfortable right all right all right everyone have have a blessed day have a great day thank you